after cleaning and this is the fan before cleaning if you if you look closely you'll see how what kind of work has been done and this is how it looks like before and after this looks like almost new and this is the one i'm gonna go on this one Hi, welcome to Too Far Tech. We're going to show exactly if we get a used graphics card, how we're going to go about cleaning it and making sure it it performs same like from factory. This is a two part video and this is the second part where we're going to actually show what we're going to do with this GPU, the 1050 Ti, and how we're going to clean this to look like factory new. This MSI 1050 Ti. Very simple small card. Now what is going to happen next is I'm going to clean these fins. So I'm going to use this brush and clean up these things and then go with this brush and clean up here. That's what uh, the next stage is going to be. So first of all as I showed you here, this is the one that will be used. It's already doing half the job. Boom. And yes, we got to move that from here so it doesn't get dusty all over again. Typically, I wouldn't do this job here. The dusting part would be done somewhere where it's more open. So I'm not going to breathe this dust and it's going to fall off over the place. I chose these components because there is very less dust on them. But practically, when we are doing a lot more components, we're going to have another space to clean it up. So I'm going to remove that thermal compound from here. And to, because it's been there for a while, I'd rather clean it thoroughly and use a lot of pressure on that, like a scrubbing, so that over a period of time, the aluminum oxidizes and forms a layer of oxidation. I mean, there will be an oxidation layer on that. So you need to break through that layer. So I'm just going to leave it there and then I'm going to continue with the brush. It's impossible to get inside through here. This will work either. It won't. You can only reach through here. But, uh, Works, that's why it requires patience. So, as you can see, the brush reach almost the bottom. So, let's take it again. Can actually use this here. So whatever is left of is already out. I'm gonna clean this off. Clean the wipes. Use this just to finish off. new no more dust or anything on this so it's done now are these two these two things so simple as it is used as i said before go to brush it's a good plastic so it's not gonna break Depending on the amount of dust, I might probably wash it because it's plastic, it can go through a wash, but then it also has to go through a drying process. But there is no much dust on this one. It's easily cleanable and it's the, the areas are easily reachable. So that's a quick sweep uh, for video purposes but later on I might look at it again and maybe go get it you know something more serious so there it is 
So the shot is done. Almost. But this guy is gonna take time because uh, let's see if this is hard. Yes, it is. Yeah. Do a quick sweep. So just by wiping it off you can see the difference between these two. It's just using a bigger brush. Now I'm gonna use this smaller one. Go even further. The need for it is just to be, you know, just make sure it's all around a good job. Just be careful on the fin so that you don't break them. There's always a chance that you could exert more force and in the end break them and then you have a major problem then because these fans are not really cheap to get, especially over here, you have to import them if, that's, if it is available and that could be a problem, the availability Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one wipe this So it's uh, pretty time consuming as you can see on a small graphics card how much time it takes to clean up and I'm doing this really fast normally it's not gonna be this fast and some of the fans are not such uh, accessible so easily the fins are placed in a way you can't even clean them if you like but we do our best to ensure it's done to the best way possible okay it's almost done I mean after cleaning and this is the fan before cleaning if you, if you look closely you'll see how, what kind of work has been done and this is how it looks like before and after this looks like almost new and this is the one I'm gonna go on this one off camera because I'm gonna just repeat that process and then I'm gonna put them back and we're gonna show you how it looks like after we have done the job so let me get to it that's it look closely and you'll see yeah this is the final as of now and next, I'll, I've ma mount, I managed to mount these things back. And what I need to do is apply thermal compound and get this mated to that. So I'm going to use this. It's been very effective. I'm going to just take a small. It's more than enough. You can see the block method that I normally do. So here's the top. I'm gonna plug this in. The holes are lined up. I'm not gonna let them move because uh, I don't want the thermal compound to be smeared all over the place. So I'm gonna just put the screw. I'm gonna go to the opposite corner. So it's pretty much good. I'm not gonna go full tight. This one, I'm gonna go full tight. There you go. So this is our finished product. So as you can see, we have went inside and cleaned this card and it is fact factory new and it's clean and there's no dust or anything to be seen anywhere. So we went in and cleaned all the fans, we took it out and yep, there you go. It's same like new. So this is what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna put it on the PC and bench test this to make sure it performs to the best. So thank you for watching and you know when you are with us, we give you the best.